in this game that's so many lames in a fearing like they hard shooting them crops with distributed losses but on my set trick you bars stop blodging like you wobbling trying to come up off that train this a message straight from me to you it's nothing but death to you play or hate them in this
somebody want him now to do a comedy show Easter weekend. Want him to do the red carpet. Want him yeah. to feed him the crazy. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so that's what I'm on now. Mike check one, two. Mike check one, two. Welcome, 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 welcome. Y'all tuning me in right now to the Pull Up Podcast. First episode. Got George Julie Richard D in the house. And I got the pleasure of having in the studio with me somebody that I've been knowing in the rap game, man, since. Man, I'm thinking I'm about 15, 16. I'm in the kitchen learning how to do it. To end this game, it's over the line. And the fear and like they hard. Shooting them across the street in the <laughs> <laughs> on your set trick, you bar. Yeah. I'm in the kitchen gangster walking it. Then I'm also in the kitchen gangster walking, learning how to jip to ride, needing to shit everything. Thing. Cruising by the skating ring. <laughs> Cheesing on them gold things. <laughs> you might want to wave back. Oh, it's, it's the, the criminal, criminal night. night. Yeah. I'll tell you. Yeah. That's who I got in the house, himself, Mr. Full Cell Mob, himself, and also, I can't leave this out, y'all, the new, the brand newest superstar to Tubi. Yeah. Y'all ain't been on Tubi and checked out the neighborhood dope, man. I don't know what you've been doing, man, because this is the movie number three in New York City. Man, it's been a long time, oh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Man, you know, we go back like four flats on the cat, like old school days, bro. You remember? Look here at me and Criminal, man. Look, we used to be old Squeaky House. You remember when we go Squeaky House? Squeaky order about a 50 or 100 piece from oh, yeah. Magic. Yeah. Remember, remember yeah. from Magic? Yeah. And, and, and we all in the house just sitting down. Just, and he in there making beats, yeah. and y'all in there, man, going putting fire on them beats, man. Man, what you said? Man, what's been going on, Chris? Man, everything been straight, man. Just been just putting the plot together, putting the plan together, and, and I'm hitting them now, brother. Man, man, I see. The moves is like, it's, it's amazing, man. Like, Thank you, brother. 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 Thank you, what, 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 what I'm talking about, okay, well, what made you start, what, what made you just, all right, you see you all been wanting to do it, yeah. what made you say on this day, damn, I'm doing it today? I, be, I ain't gonna lie, Richard D, I've been wanting to do it ever since, you remember I did the song, uh, If You Step on My Icy White Reef. Yeah, 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 sir, like, I've been yeah, wanna do Joe Blow did it again. Yeah, I've been wanting to do a movie since then, but I never got with the right person to do it. Okay. Every time I get with somebody, a director, I'd be like, man, let's shoot a movie, and they'd be like, my ain't cream ain't finna shoot no move. Nobody took me serious. All right, okay. So I had to actually step outside the box. You know what I'm saying? I said, I'm going to go meet somebody that don't even know me. You know what I'm saying? Right, and okay. I ended up getting with this guy, uh, Robert Parker. And I told him my idea. And shit, the rest is history. You know Where's what I'm Robert saying? Robert Parker from? Where is he? Where oh, he, he from Memphis. Yeah, he, he from Memphis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, you found somebody local. Mm -hmm. Where somebody local? That's mm -hmm. important. That's something important that we already mm -hmm. be doing, trying to find somebody yeah, he, local. Yeah, he, 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 he already with uh, this uh, independent... Uh, movie is the number one independent black movie cinema is Maverick, you know what I'm saying, Maverick Films. I don't know if you heard of them, but okay, I'm sure no, you heard of them on YouTube. I probably had, yeah, I yeah, probably yeah. just didn't recognize what it was. Yeah, Maverick Films, okay. they like, they straight run it, you okay. know what I'm saying? He, he already connected with them, so I ended up getting with him, and I was doing the movie by myself, you see what I'm saying, out of my pocket, out of my own budget, and Maverick Films reached out to him, told him, like, hey, tell Cram we need that movie. Okay. So I said, we got to make it make sense if I'm going to give it to you. Right, okay. Yeah, you know right, what I'm saying? He see, he see me working on it. He see I got Ball and G in it. Uh, you just got to look at the movie, man. Right? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> How you come up with the concept for the movie? How, how did you think of the script? What, 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 what was it that made you and sparked your interest in to write it the way you wrote it? Or did you write it? I, I, I thought of it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, I wrote it just like a rap. You know what I'm saying? The neighborhood don't mind. You know, this has been my slogan forever. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anytime I say criminal mind, the neighborhood don't, don't mind. You yep. know what I'm saying? Sure like, I've been doing this since I was rap a lot of rappers. Right. So yeah. I always wanted to do, you know, since I'm with that name, that's my slogan. Everybody know me from that. So I said, I want to do a movie named Neighborhood Dope Mind. You okay. see what I'm saying? And I came with the idea, I had uh, the execs that you want in it. You see what I'm saying? So I broke it down. What was some of the execs that you did? Uh, I told, you I told her I want to be working in the tie shop. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm struggling. You know what I'm saying? I'm a rapper. I'm, I'm trying to pursue my career. I'm trying to do what's right. But every time I try to do what's right, I'm still led to what's wrong. 
You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's like, okay. it's, if you look at the movie, it's a message to the movie. Okay, I get you. You know what I'm saying? You just don't lose focus. Okay, you I get You know what I'm saying? You. Regardless of whatever your path is, it might seem like it's hard, but sometimes it got to be hard for it to get good. You feel what I'm saying? I feel, yeah, I don't feel. let that go over your head. You feel what I'm saying? So, sometimes we got to go through them storms and you gotta get go to this song. Yeah, everything and I was going to be perfect. I got it. So I had told her. Uh, that specific right there. Yeah. You wanted that in there. Yeah, I wanted, I wanted to actually, like I'm struggling at the time shop working. But I'm trying to pursue my my uh, my, my rap career, but nobody's mm -hmm. taking me serious. Okay. So I'm forced to you know sell sell drugs on the street. Okay. And I end up running to this Mexican. You know I'm changing his time. <laughs> when I'm changing his time, I look in his trunk. He got a whole lot of bricks in the <laughs> trunk. Don't give us no more. Don't give us no more. Yeah. Don't give no more. Yeah. Now, go to two, bitch. Check this out. What's the name of neighborhood? Neighborhood dope, man. Neighborhood dope, man. Oh, yeah, and I'm man. telling you, it's good. It's going know? crazy, man. I'm like number three in New York, number five in Chicago. Uh, Detroit, like number eight. It's independent. Like if you go on Tubi, you gonna, you gonna see it. M most recommended, most popular. It's, it's there. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm proud of you, bro. Oh, yeah, I'm man. proud of you, man. I'm proud of me too, cause I ain't know I can do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but ain't nothing to it but to do it, man. man. You never know unless you try, man. You never know what you, you gotta can do. have faith in yourself, man. Oh yeah, I believe in me. You gotta, and you got to. Who oh, else yeah. gonna believe in you if man. you don't? I believe in me. Man, you know? that's what you got to do. Man, the man upstairs, it ain't nothing I can't do, man. I'm trying to see, and that's what everybody else out there is listening to this podcast right. too. So y'all look here. I've been knowing my man Crean. He's been grinding for a while. Look yeah. here. Some of y'all think that this stuff just come nah, overnight. Nah, y'all just nah. see certain people and y'all just think, oh, he got it too easy. This. No, nah, I'm telling you, this man been working. This man been on his grind. And look, movies wasn't even his first thought. He's a rapper. Exactly. But he had to see and change his avenue yeah. and found something else that worked. And then he, now he's doing something that he also loves to do, been wanting to do, and he's able to incorporate his raps right. into what he's doing now. Right. So you, sometimes we just got to switch the game yeah, well sometimes to, in order to, to get in where you feel. Every, every, everything, everything not going to happen the way you want it to happen. Right. But I, I'm not a quitter. Like, I, there's nothing that you can do that I can't do. And you also got to have a plan. B, oh, yeah, C, yeah. E, e, you you got to have a plan. Like, yeah. you, just, you just can't. You can't jump off the bed and just start running. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, where you running to first? Right, yeah. Now, let's get this where understood. You going? Yeah, just like when people say, man, I'm finna go out and get the money. Okay, what's the plan to get the money? Yes, yeah. You, you feel go. what I'm saying? You, go. you don't waste a lot of time just kind of saying, I'm finna go get the money, but where you finna go get it from? Okay, I feel you. What you finna go do to get the exactly, money? Exactly, exactly. You know what I'm saying? You gotta I, execute. You, you see what I'm saying? Have your plan, work right. your plan, and plan your work. And it's always supposed to be There you go. There you go. Tell us about the soundtrack now. I heard oh, you get this down. Come for on. the soundtrack that I heard through the moves is super fast. Soundtrack's stupid, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, neighborhood dope, man. Just go to Google and Google neighborhood dope, man. 2023, not the neighborhood dope man from 2000 and uh and 12 or 11. That's when I was rapping like, yeah, yeah. yeah don't. I mean, listen to that one too though, but it's not that yeah, CD not right now. Yeah, yeah, 2023, 2023, the new neighborhood dope man. It's the soundtrack to the actual movie neighborhood dope man. All the tracks yours, or you do it all the songs, or you got other people? Uh, who, who I got on that? I don't know who I got on this. One. I'm on the CD, you know okay. what I'm saying? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's I'm, I'm on the CD, fantasy. yeah, but the, the CD jamming, bro. I'm talking about from the beginning to the end. Would you solicit other people, you know, like, just say local rappers who might would want to include their songs in your movie? Yeah. Would you yeah. be open yeah, to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I, I, I would give anybody a chance. Okay. And the, the, the thing I ask, I ask of any artist, man, make sure your song is mixed and mastered. You know correctly. Don't just send me something that you just got to record and it sound like just like you right here. You know what I'm saying? You're not getting the full potential of how I can actually hear it. And then when you put music out, you want it to be heard clear. You want people to hear the the, the bass, the snare, the everything. And there's a lot of people they miss their blessings with the music because they're not getting it done properly. See, since we on that topic right there, let's go ahead and switch to that topic. That is something good, because uh, yeah. there are a lot of artists out here who really just don't know, you know. Uh, right. I, 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 I at one time would get criticized as being a hater. Nah, and the reason man. I would be criticized is that because someone would give me some music, and I would give them my honest opinion. And yeah. so it would be a, he just don't want to listen to my music, or he just think that uh, he know that. I, but I was given my honest opinion because this is something that I've been doing for a long time, and I get you. Some of, some of the stuff, like what you just said, yeah. the clarity, yeah. 
the way that you mix and you master your songs. Yeah. Those are some of the elements that you need in order for you to be able to get that true sound. You want to get that full potential. You want somebody on their head. You want to be like, okay, I'm going to make sure they heard their vocals clear, the, the, the beat clear, everything clear. You just can't submit it just because you think it's bumping. Just don't give it a chance. Don't get it done right. It don't take no other few dollars. You know, a lot of people are scared to invest in their crap. You know, so if you don't believe you in you, who gonna who, who gonna do it? And that's something that you need to do. Yeah, you, you, got to, you, got, you got to invest in yourself, bro. You know, even labels, even when labels when they come out, you know what I'm saying, they sign the people, you can be the hardest rapper in the world. You know what I'm saying? But if you're not doing it properly and doing it right, you 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 really holding yourself back. I got you. I got you. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. If uh someone who what what would be some advice that you would give someone who was just getting into the music game? And they knew nothing about contracts. They knew nothing about how you know points or uh, uh, the publishing and all that. What's some kind of advice that you would give them with some of the pointers that they might need the, uh, to to get started to get into the the, the music game? Right. In order to read. Succeed? You 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 have to read. You know, don't just let nobody tell you. Don't just let nobody tell you. Oh yo, oh sign this here and do this real. Just blah 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 this here. You know, just my. The internet, you know, Google, you know what I'm saying? If, and if you don't understand, ask somebody that do know that, that do know about it. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. Like, you just, you got to read, man, because it's a lot of people that jump in this business and think it's supposed to go one way, man. It's, it's, it's really the business over everything. Have you been subject to being gotten over in a, on the deal, like a label or maybe a... To my have I got yeah, yeah, a bad deal? Yeah, 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 a bad deal. When, okay. I, when I was a rapper lot, that was a bad deal. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You know, I salute, I salute rapper lot, right. you know what I'm saying? But it was a learning experience for me. What was the deal? That Project did? Players. You know, we first signed with rapper lot, I signed as Project Players. That's Bucket Naked? Yeah. Okay. Bucket Naked to right. buck with me all that. Okay. You see what I'm saying? And we signed it and, and you know I'm young, you know what I'm saying. Okay. It's just like, oh come on, man, this rapper like that's what we do. We had a choice. It was between uh, Loud Records, Universal, and Rapper Lot. Okay. And you know we used to vote. You feel what I'm saying? And like the group. Yeah, the group voted. Okay. So I, right. I, I was outvoted with Universal. I was outvoted with Loud. And then it's like when we went to Rapper Lot. You know what I'm saying? That's I was right. outvoted again. So I said, just let's just go and do it. Let's work. Okay. All yeah, right. Okay. It's just right. gonna work. And and it was just a learning experience because you know. Things that was in the paperwork didn't actually happen the way it's supposed to. But, you know, once again, it ain't, it ain't, no, ain't no problem, ain't no beef. It's just a learning experience. Right, okay. You feel what I'm saying? What, what was something that was in there that, you know, that y'all thought y'all that, that, that was supposed to go this way and it didn't go the way that you thought that it just, was supposed just, to go? Just, I'm going to break it down to you. Like, just because you sign a deal, that don't mean that they got to hold your hand and take you to all these things. When you sign a deal, you really got to work now. Now okay. you got to prove yourself. Oh, so some people think that yeah, once they sign, sign a deal, you just sit back no, and then about it just no, work for you. No. It don't work like no, that. No, bro. When you sign a deal, man, you got to show these folks, why, why why, did you sign me? Okay. You know, what's the reason? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm here now. So this is what I'm going to do. You, you know what I'm saying? You got to get your hustle on. Yeah, you got to go even harder. You see what I'm saying? But, we, I knew it back then, you know, not to take nothing from my, my brothers in the project players, but everybody was just, that, that money was just going to people's head. Okay, okay. You feel okay, what I'm saying? Okay. So people were like, oh, I, got a, I got hundreds of thousands of dollars. I can just go do this. I can go buy a car. I can do this here. I just wanted to work. Okay. I you know, know, I always wanted to work, and that's why you still see me right now today, because okay. I'm still working. All right, I got you. You know what I'm saying? Because, see, I see a lot of people that are trying to, you know, get on. There's a lot of people that are trying to get to that level of success. Right. And but some of them don't just know the game. And sometimes I try to explain to them that's one of the most important elements is to read. When I yeah, go you, and talk you, to kids you, you at school to. sometimes, uh, you know, some of them tell me uh, I just have my lawyer do it. I said and your lawyer gonna be the one stealing from you yeah. because he knows that you can't read. Yeah. So yeah. you need got yeah, even even I tell them this that uh, I had read that Oprah uh even makes her she has two accounts. She has an account, and she also has another account watching that account. And before any check is signed, they have to bring it to Oprah to see why this amount is this. And she has to sign, and she wants to sign off on every check that goes out. Man, guess what? She's going to stay, she she gonna stay rich. <laughs> Oprah's going to stay rich. That's smart. That's reason. Yeah. Yeah, that's real reason. That, that, that is what it is. But, you know, to, to all the, you know, the upcoming rappers, man, just actually just... just Stay humble first and foremost and, and listen to OGs, listen to older people who actually been in it. Everybody's not a hater. 
You understand what I'm saying? Right. Some people just don't want you to go through what they done went through. You feel what I'm saying? I wish I had somebody to sit there and, and, and told us back in the days that, oh, man, you don't need to do this here and go through this here. You know what I'm saying? I would have listened. You see what I'm saying? But a lot of people take that constructive criticism. Oh, man, that nigga hate you okay, know, right. that ain't even the case, bro. I just want you not to do the wrong shit. And then the, the thing is, we all on borrowed time. You on borrowed time. He on borrowed time. Everybody on borrowed time. I ain't got no time to waste. I got you. No matter how long it take to do something, let's just do what we supposed to do and get this shit over with. You feel what I'm saying? Keep on moving. Yeah, let's just keep it moving. We all on borrowed time, bro. Don't nobody know when it's, it's, it's your expiration date. We all got one. You feel me? And to see the expiration date coming from a lot of these uh, rappers lately. Oh, yeah. What, 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 I mean, is, is, is it open season on rappers now? Is that what's going on? Man, I, I couldn't tell you, bro. You know, I, I, try to, I try to stay in my own lane. And I just, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if it don't concern me, I don't even want to be around it. You know what I'm saying? Just like, I don't even, I don't even go to clubs unless I'm getting paid. Okay. You ain't finna catch me nowhere. Like, it just, it ain't, it's not gonna happen. Because it's always somebody that wants your spot. You know, the rap game is so different from the era I came up in. Right now, it's just like, the, these phones, bro. Like, this, this internet, this social media shit, it, it, it got these folks that have gone crazy, bro. Well, why is it so? Uh, why the rappers seem to be the target now? I mean, what, attention, what, bro. What is it? What, what, what's different than when it was twenty years ago than what it is now? What's the difference to why rappers are winding up getting? Seems like every attention. Months. Attention is a hell of a drug, bro. Like it's just that the shit people do for attention, they'll actually go. They'll they'll take it to. They'll go too far with it to kill someone for yeah, attention. Yeah, yeah. Man, man, bro, shh, bro, man, right now in my city, in Memphis, bro, bro, it's going down, bro. Like, it's like a fucking war. It's a, it's a war zone down there, bro. What seems to be the problem? What's the animal? Man, shh, that was, well, no, like I can tell you, bro, I, I just, I, I stay in my own lane, Richard D. Like, right. I'm just going to be 100 with you, bro. I, like, know, I, feel I, just, you. I stay in my own lane, bro. Like, that, and that's the safest thing to be yeah, on. You just got to mind your own. Uh, she got going on over there. Man, I'm ton of it to all that bullshit. Man, I'm trying to focus on what I'm focusing on, and I just hope now one of these folks don't put me in their business. I'm focusing on what I'm doing. You see what I'm saying? Right. I guess. Yeah. Because it's, getting it, in other business just ain't. Nah. 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 Yeah, nah. This, this this shit crazy, bro. I just uh, just, I just wonder now, you know, just about our youth of today. You know, man. Like I try to go and I speak at schools and I speak at churches and yeah. And I try to you know keep in tune with the youth and try yeah. to tell them that. You know, this ain't the right way. Like Dawson say, you know, everybody screaming, gang, gang, gang. Yeah. And them folks come and get you, you, you go tell, tell them, them the whole game. game. Like, that, that, that's for real. It really is. No, that, that, that shit really for real. And it's like a lot of these folks don't even know what they're signing up for. I, um, because I watch, uh, uh, what's the show? Uh, the First 48. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got some new show out now called Real Time Crime. And me, me and my girl. And so what it is is... These cities now have cameras everywhere. And what is going on, even in Jackson now, about like two months ago, it was on the news that if you have a ring doorbell, if you have a camera in your house, you can register it with the city. And they can that, tell way, that way, if something happens, you know, in the vicinity of your home and you got a camera, yeah. they can, you know, come and, you know, get the, the you know, the That's camera to, to look at it or whatever. And so we watched Real Time Crime last night. And they were just out there, man, just with. Guns just shooting for no reason. I'm talking about this was just a gun battle going on. But the point I'm trying to make is, when they caught up to one of the guys, he was the investigator was talking to him, and they put him in a corner, you know, where he, to where he couldn't lie no more. Right. So he came. They came back in the room. He apologized for lying. And the next thing he did was told him. It was Harry Smith, Deontay Brown. Uh, Susie Miller, uh, mm -hmm. I, I, we were like, and I hit pause and I told my girl, I said, everybody screaming, gang, gang, gang. Don't fuck up and get you, you gonna tell them the whole gang. And I will, I want that to be shown in classroom. To show these kids that everybody screaming, gang, gang, this is what's gonna happen. It's death or you going to jail. Damn, and I'm trying, I, I would want to try to deter them because that's what they making these jails for. Oh, yeah. They making the jails for these youth. Them billion dollar businesses. And you can buy stocks in them, man. I Do you know. know the companies that have stocks in our jail systems? 
Big boy mean, company. E4, they make a lot of money off you. They make more money off you going to jail than you being out. That's why they keep but building you know, a lot the jails. People, you know, a lot of people are ready for that conversation. Hey. You talking to the right one. That's all I can tell you, bro. Like, you know, it's, a lot of people, they ain't ready for that. You feel what I'm saying? Folks say, oh, mob, Graham, what's in this? What's new? What's new? What you got going uh, next? Oh, man, I just shot another movie, Play. It's finna drop in uh, seven. Come on, my another movie? Are uh, you on it again? Uh, this, this it. This, I'm, I'm finna run it, bro. Like, Neighborhood though, man, we, we finna do a part two probably in uh, the end of August. No, okay. we're doing nothing. Uh, part two, the end of August. But I got this other movie called Memphis Afghanistan. So I, I got I gotta bring what's really going on into it. I want the world to actually see. You feel what I'm saying? You know what? I know this dude, man. You put him in the movie, dog. I promise you, y'all probably gonna get an Oscar, man. You know what I'm saying? They go by the name of Richard D. So Richard D. Man, you, man. You, you, we, 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 we probably need to get Richard D. Cash to call, man. man. You, you might need to holler at him, man. I'm telling you, you put him in there, get him a call. We're gonna get the Oscar. My, I'm trying to tell you, man. So shoot it to the top. We need man. the Oscar on the man. Right, man. We need five of them. We need five of them. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. You, hey, Richard D. You holler at Richard D. Let Richard D. know if we need to do that. <laughs> I'm going to hear him reach out to you, man. I told him. Uh, yeah. Man, look here. I so appreciate you coming on down here, man. Man, tell everybody once again, man, what the name of the new movie uh, is. The new movie, come with. The Neighborhood, though, man, is is out right now. It's yes, on sir. every site, period. Amazon, Peacock, Hulu, Tubi TV. It's on everything except Netflix. How come it ain't on Netflix? Because Netflix, they want it exclusively. Uh, Why would I put it on okay. one site uh, and okay. I can go well, put it on 30 sites? Sites. But yeah, it, Netflix, when you put something out through Netflix, it, it's, they want it exclusively. That's what, oh, oh, so okay, so like, you wouldn't be able to put it on another site? Nah, it, I had a choice. I could either put it on Netflix or I could put it on 25 other sites. Oh, you did right. So I'm going to the 25 yeah, other sites. Yeah, right. Yeah. And then, you know, it's a hood move, so take me to the project. Yeah, yeah. Take me to my project, you know, where people understand me. Yeah, They're going to see all the crim, criminal, man. Yeah, okay. Neighborhood, though, man. Let me check that out. Right, check you know that what I'm out. I probably be, I, I probably, it, it probably wouldn't be as big as, big as it is if it was on Netflix. Oh, right. Okay, I got you then. Because yeah. see, you got all these other channels out here that's uh, right. moving in around, too. Right. So they all working in together and keeping right. them algorithm going to keep pulling your movie up right. for people to keep watching it. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, you got a brain on your mind. Yeah. You know what you're doing in this time. Come on, bro. It's going down, man. I appreciate you having me down here. You already know, know it, man. Saying. I'm glad to see you, man. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, glad yeah, to yeah, just yeah. see that the Lord done kept us all these years, man. Because it's been something like about 2006, 2007 since oh, we yeah, seen it's been a minute. Time. Yeah, yeah, it's been a minute. And we both still here. And I'm still working. Man, and we are. And I ain't never stopping. What, you know I'm, what, I'm, what I'm doing? You still same, working. Same, yeah, same thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, we still it, here. There's, I hear people say, oh, you too old to do this. Man, you gonna tell Come the person on, who work at Walmart. Come on, man. And they going for cash register. Come on, man. No, man, you man. too old to work. Man, you better go get your motherfucking money. Man, I'm trying to tell you. I'm going to get my money to this. So you know what? Ain't no more money. We just switching the hustle up. That's yeah. all. Yeah. yeah. Found yeah. another eye up and do to get our right. hustle on, man. Right. So we got to keep right. on doing it, man. Oh, yeah, man. Make sure y'all get that album, Neighborhood Dope, man. 2023. It's on what? Uh, it's, it's on, on all the streaming platforms? It's on everything. Everything. It's on everything. And then the movie. And then what's the name of the new movie, though? The one you're working on now? When is this one going to be ready? The move I just did, Played, that's going to come out in like seven to eight months. Okay. What's the name of the game? Played. Played. Give us a brief synopsis of this what this might be about. It's about me fucking with a lot of hoes. One hoes is about me fucking with a lot of women. You know what I'm saying? And it's like this one woman that I was trying to get. You know, she was hard to get. Mm -hmm. And I was just consistent. Like, I, I really wanted her. And once I actually got her, I got her to go, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I got knocked it. her down, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And I tried to do her like I did the rest of the female. She went crazy. She went heavy. Oh, bro. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. She, she went crazy. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's one of them type of movies, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't all my, my movies, they ain't going to be just trap movies, you see? Right. Everybody going to think, like, it's going to be just neighborhood dope mm -hmm. name type shit. No. You nah. exploring all happening. Yeah, bro. I got another movie doing Discipline. I got another movie doing Below the Belt. Like, bro, I'm working, bro. So you, so what you said is you give her the idea and the specifics of what you want. Right. And then and she, she, she break it down into curve. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then. then yeah, then, Miss, then. Miss Andrea Parker, man. You know, I salute her, man. You man. know what I'm saying? That's cool, yeah. man. How's Squeaky doing? 
I don't know, you know, Squeaky the big dog, bro. Right, you know, Squeaky right. great. That's my food. Like, yeah, that's we, my got, we got a compound down there. You got to come on down there. We got a studio. got about 18 rooms in it, bro. I got to get down there, man. I, 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 did, I, did, I just been doing it. It's just a whole lot. I mean, matter of fact, we ain't talking earlier. Yeah. Hey, man. yo, let me plug Squeaky right quick. <laughs> if anybody coming to the city, you looking for beats or studio time. <laughs> Down, down his number. He go on. Don't tell him I gave it to you. 901-878-9208. just say, what's up? He go on. He go on, man. He go That's my dog, though, bro. For real, man. Yeah, but, man, he's going down, though, man. Neighborhood, though, man. Y'all remember that, man. Check my move out. I'm number. Man, I'm everything on Tube. Just go to Tube and type in Neighborhood, though, man. Man, we got the dream, man. With this little, little, man, you know what? Elbow, you want to come back down here and holler at your boy, man. You need to come on down here and holler at your boy, man. I appreciate you having me, big dog. Man, you know it's all great, man. Much love to you, man. That's going to do it right here, y'all, for the uh, Pull Up Podcast. Yeah. My main criminal, man. Mr. 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 Criminal, yeah. man. Yes, sir. Hey, y'all, tune in. Man, we'll know, man. We out. We out. We out. We out. We out. Yeah. Um,